I'm sat here editing and realise that once again I have not done an introduction. Apologies. Must get better at this. Keep doing this every single week. Anyway, I hope that you enjoy a little snippet into my very, very normal, normal week. And I will catch up with you very soon. Bye. want to Martin's about to clean my car but I wanted to do like a little before and after because this is like this is disgusting look how grim can you see it's a filthy look at the roof hasn't been washed for ages I said I'm coming out to film it because it's really gross and he said, oh, great, no pressure then. <laughs> well, what he actually said is, I wasn't going to wash your car, I was going to wash mine. He said, I'm joking. Look. Ugh. Is this the problem with a white car? Well, to be fair, it's been dirty no matter what colour. But I'll show you what it's like when he's finished. So I just wanted to share... Sorry, I've got teeth whitening strips on. <laughs> Just wanted to share with you what my beautiful friend got me for my birthday, Karen. I've not used any of it yet, I'm dead excited to. How cute are these? So you got two of them. Got a special little pouch for it. these got some brushes got some mini so you get two of the little mini ones cheek and eye blush ooh that's so pretty full on flirt colour changing lip balm ok I'm going to use this today once I'm ready, I'll show you this. A liquid blush. Gorgeous. I'm going to get ready and then I'll bring you back when I'm putting on the... This. Okay, I'm all ready now. Um, I have just put a little bit of a lip liner on. But I'm going to put this on now and see what... What the crackalacking is. Oh, wow, look. I don't know if you can see that, it's all like sparkly. I don't know how I'm going to do this with one hand because I'm. Let me just switch you over. So I'm going to have to come closer to the mirror. I'm assuming that they go different colours on different people. It feels really nice and hydrating. It's quite a pretty colour. You know, like a no makeup day, which is never in my in my life anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna go see how Martin's getting on with the car. And then I think JJ and Daniel have got uh MOT, so they're gonna leave Amelia with us while they go and do that. What else have I got to do today? Pick up some parcels later. I did a thing. I really, really, really wanted some um, loafers, my vibe. So I ordered, I think four pairs, maybe three, I'm not sure, to try on, see which ones I like. And then, was there something else I ordered? Oh, I've ordered the girls their tan. Um, you know, the one that I'm wearing, the uh, Bondi Sands Techni Color. Technique, Color Technique, that one. Uh, JJ's getting the sapphire and Lauren's come out as emerald the same as me so 
we will see right i'm going to pop some perfume on and then uh, go and see how mine's getting on i've just cleaned the bathroom and the toilet as well so at least that's done one more task off my list for this week so yeah i'll see you downstairs uh this looks a little bit different doesn't it doesn't even look like the same car look Ooh. Huh? it's like i've got a new car <laughs> wow that is amazing you want to tell in? No, I said, wow, you did amazing. Oh, it looks so much nicer. Nice and clean. I just need an air freshener in there now, don't I? Oh, perfect. Yeah, that's all right. Love you. <laughs> Bella, come in. Hello, Bella. Good, good morning. Well, good afternoon to you. Where have you been? Got some food? Yes. Just check in. Oh, calm down. You have. I can see it. What are you crying for? So this plant, I cut it down like my sister said. This was the big one that flowered and this one's i think is about to flower but this one's shot right up what an amazing uh, concept that is i'm really i absolutely loved it beautiful so it's only half past 10 well 25 past to be exact and martin's just decided to clean his car as well so they're both done now so that's good um last night we just got a indian takeaway and watched a movie what was it called code eight i think it was called code eight there's an there's a second one um which was what we actually saw the trailer for so we i might watch that one tonight it was at, it was actually all right it was about a small few members in the community in the world that have like superpowers so they might have the ability to read minds or they might have the ability to heal things like that but they're like shunned by the community so they have to have like permits which are extortionately high so they can't work to earn a living and basically this guy gets in with this crowd i don't want to say too much it's really really difficult Okay, we're going to pause it here because otherwise I'm going to waffle for about 10 minutes solid trying to explain the story to you. Here you go. A super-powered construction worker falls in with a group of criminals in order to raise the funds to help his ill mother. In a world where people with special abilities are living in poverty, Connor is a powerful young man who is struggling to pay for his mother's medical treatments. To earn money, he joins a lucrative criminal world led by Garrett, who works for a drug lord. There you go. Enjoy. <laughs> it was worth a watch. I found it. I, I found it like interesting. It kept me, like, oh, you know, what's going to happen? I think what I'm, Bella. I'm trying to speak. You're being very rude. You're being very rude. Shush. It's too loud. It's too loud. Just come sit down and be quiet. All right. Sit down. It's fine. Chill out, darling. Yeah. Yes. Shh. Sorry, honestly. <laughs> She's so funny. I've been so stressed this past few weeks about just how I've been feeling about myself. My body's changed so much in the last 10 years and... Do you know what? I'm just I I I'm just happy with my life and that's the only aspect that ever gets me down. And I'm just gonna stop stop this crap. Stop this crap, honestly. Like I just wanna I just wanna have fun and make memories and when that aspect is brought into it all the time, it puts a negative and a down on things. I wanna go on holiday in the summer and make the most amazing memory with my 
children and grandchildren. I'm so sad that JJ Daniel and Amelia won't be there. So sad. But unfortunately, it's literally two weeks before she's due. So it's just not possible. It's just not possible. But that, you know, we've we've all agreed, not next year, but the year after we'll do another one. We'll all we'll all go away together and I think it's so important and I just want to I just want to have so much fun and I want them to have the most amazing memories of me and Martin because we're not going to be around forever you know that's not me being negative but we're not you know you 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 think you're going to make memories but then when they're teenagers not going to want to hang about with you if you've not already done all of that I want them to love spending time with Nana and Gaga that went really deep didn't it <laughs> It went from me us cleaning Saturday morning clean to my life expectancy. <laughs> That's what you get on this channel. Welcome. It's all um cupcakes and rainbows over here. <laughs> anyway, I won't be able to pick up any of my deliveries till this afternoon, so I've got to I'm gonna take back a few things as well, so I need to make sure they're ready. Well, anyway, I'm waffling now, so I'm going to love and leave you there. I've got to finish editing my last week's weekly vlog, which ended last night. So it's all go go go. So I'm gonna just complete that, add in yesterday's footage and tidy it up a little bit and then get that exported so that's ready for you guys for Monday. Right, anyway, catch up with you soon. Then have a lie down. With the blanket because daddy's tired been to work look at my hedgehogs <laughs> are they cute Mimi yeah say hello everyone hello. are you gonna have some lunch say bye everyone say I'm bye. off for lunch see you later see you later JJ Lauren and Britt this is what they got me for Mother's Day how cute juicy pear jelly belly jelly beans so excited these are delicious white Toblerone this is for my Dyson air wrap the thing that it comes in is huge but I can fit my air wrap in here and then the attachments and everything can go in these little pockets here and then I've got a little zip there and a little pocket there and it can hang up and then it's got another zip on the back how cool is that and then this, I can't believe this, so cute. Let me show you. So it's a bracelet, but these birthstones represent my daughters. So this one is Lauren's birthstone. This one is Brittany's birthstone. And this one is Jamie Lee's birthstone. How beautiful is that? What a thoughtful gift that is. Really lovely. So I thought I'd share that with you. And now they have all gone. I'm going to um, run over to Stunstable to get my parcels. So I will check in with you in a bit. Just doing some dinner, um, which will be on my meals of the week, but I thought I'd just show you because it's something that I'm doing in my daily life. <laughs> so I'm just parboiling some, you can't see that, some um, wedges which I'm going to pop on some smoky, mild and smoky seasoning. Then I've just done a tiny, tiny little salad because we're having, we're having these as a, like a little starter. And then I've got pineapple chilli jam that my mum made for us at Christmas and a chilli jam, so we're going to give those a go. And then for our main, I'm just going to whack these in the oven and we're going to have them with some wedges and some wraps with a little bit of salad. I'm really looking forward to it. Okay, so these are the little brie um, bakes and I've got some of the chilli and pineapple jam. Um, and I'm going to enjoy this little starter. Okay, so this is um, dinner. Got some potato wedges, some Pyrenees. These pieces of chicken, I couldn't wrap the wrap up with them in there and then wrap with salad and sweet chilli and mayo. And then we're going to have this and I've got lots to do so I'll catch up with you as and when. Hi. Say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's Sunday. Happy Mother's Day to all you lovely women out there. We are off to church. Say see you soon. <laughs>
<laughs> Catch up with you soon. Hey, Mimi, say hi. Hi, Mama. Okay. <laughs> like I, I need to get in my shoes and stuff. Oh, he walked into the <laughs> <laughs> The reality. <laughs> And maybe a iPad for Rubble and coffee that Dominum and Bye. Got some lovely um, dafts church today. All the mummies, well, all the ladies in the church got um, a bouquet of a little bunch of daffodils, which is so cute. So I'm going to pop them in a vase, and I'm not going to lie, I'm going to get straight in my PJs. <laughs> Outside my window is everything pale and cold. Can't seem to pick up my phone. It's been ringing all day long Behind these clouds I know the sun will be But today's raining So be patient with me I'll be right Somehow I must be Somewhere the sky is blue Good morning everyone So it is Monday morning Today I don't have any official plans at all so it's a miserable day do you know i have so many things i need to get done today so i need to tone my hair i bought new toners um i'll show you them when i'm doing my hair i think i'm gonna do that today because it's although it's very close to the wedding oh it's not, not very close i mean it's monday she obviously get ma married on saturday so i don't know whether to just tone my hair later in the week maybe i won't do my hair today I do need to do my toenails so I have gel polish on them at the moment so I need to get all of that off and do my toenails so I'm just trying to I've been doing some face masks and just trying to make sure my skin's in tip-top condition but I'm exhausted I really am exhausted I hope everyone had a lovely day yesterday whatever you did there's not really anything major going on today I yeah I'm just feeling a, a, I'm just feeling a little bit, I don't know, like I don't want to do anything yet. So I think I am think what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to have my coffee and watch something. I've put some washing on. I think I'm just going to have a pottering day. I might get all my gel nail stuff out so that I can do my toes, but I also might just take my nail varnish off, get that off, and then, because I have to get it all out to do JJ's toes tomorrow anyway. Am I doing her toes tomorrow? Yeah, she's having her nails done in the morning, so I'll show you them. And then I need to do her toenails. And then Wednesday, she's having her eyelashes done. Tomorrow and Wednesday, I'm doing her tan as well. And I saw on TikTok, that's where I learn all my stuff at the minute. <laughs> it's like my little educational channel honestly i get lost on there for such a long time i've put a thingy on now on my phone to limit so it flags up when i've been on there for an hour because honestly when i say you can lose a couple of hours like that i'm not even joking you i don't know what it does to me and the amount of times that you say oh no i can't watch a movie i haven't got time to watch a movie but you spend two hours watching tiktoks honestly if any of you so, some people won't get this if you don't if you're not if you don't have TikTok, but if you do, you'll understand exactly where I'm coming from with that. On I, it is like days gone. <laughs> so I put a limit on there just to remind me, hey, yeah, an hour's enough. But I see so many brilliant tips on there. There's loads of funny stuff on there. There's some really cute stuff. There's some totally rubbish stuff, but you just skip past it. You don't need to harp on about it. Just scroll. But there's like some really good tips and I love that. I love that people share, like they don't gatekeep products, little tips, hairstyles, any of that. That's where I saw um, the hair toner. That's where I saw 
the hair that I'd like to have for the wedding. So I just like save the video and then I'll put, I'll, I'll share it to the hairdresser. And then um, what was the whole point of my story? What did I say I saw? I'm totally lost with the plot now. This is going to be fun to edit. <sighs> my brain fog's been really a lot lately. I do think it's just because I've got too much going on. I can't even remember what I was thinking. I'm just waffling, sorry. I feel all over the place, like this is a really scatty, scatty vlog. I need to sort myself out. Right, go have my coffee, we'll watch something and I'll check in with you when I decide to get my bum in gear and get something done for the day. I'm too tired to sleep, too tired to do Okay, so JJ went and had her nails done for the wedding today, and this is the colour. And I'll show you her toenails. Okay, so it's basically the colour that I had on the other day that I took off. So I've done her toes as well. And now I'm about to tan her, and she's going to tan me, so we won't film that bit, obviously. <laughs> Oh guys, good morning. I'm sorry that you didn't see much of me yesterday. I've, I've actually just sat here and filmed um, like a little, I don't know what it was actually. I've been sat here crying and sharing some things that I bought on TikTok shop. I was just in a bad funk, I was in a bad funk yesterday and I, and I, it's not even a bad funk. What is, what is the word? I don't even know what it is. That's the thing, it's so hard to describe. I think it's just in horm the hormone imbalance, so I was just low. Um, Karen messaged me and I just said I had a meh day. And we get that. I don't know if that word means the same. Just a meh day. Like, um, it's very emotional every time I... This is what I mean. Like, this is what was happening. Every time I was thinking that I was emotional. <laughs> oh, gosh, I feel like such a prat. Oh gosh. Every time I thought that was emotional, the tears would start pouring out of my face. <laughs> well, not my face, my eyes, obviously. That would be weird. I'm just having, I'm in that cycle, I think, of my, um, just feeling, um, yeah, all that of sorts. So Martin did the dinner yesterday, which was absolutely so adorable of him. Well, he does, that's his meal. His thing is the chicken fried rice. So he did that, but he did like the video and everything. He's so cute. Like he will do anything like to help me. And yeah, and then it was really difficult because I just, I was doing the tan last night for me and JJ. So I was like, I just, you just don't talk to me, Martin. <laughs> don't talk to me and I can't watch anything that's gonna make me cry I um because it was just coming like that and I feel the same today but Lauren gets married on Saturday so I need this to stop, I need this to stop. you will be seeing this video on Monday so when you see this video she will have been married the day would have been and that's just amazing to me absolutely amazing and I was just sharing on my Wednesday vlog and if you're a subscriber of mine and you watch all of my videos this is kind of like I'm hashing it all up repeating myself but it's because some people just tune in for different videos you know what I mean but I was just say explaining that first of all there wasn't a video for tonight which is Wednesday because um I haven't done like a weekly food shop because this is not a regular week so yeah it's kind of put everything else out of sync and maybe i need to look at that in the future like i don't know 
I'm super excited for my daughter getting married, super excited. And I was just saying that it's going to be an emotional day and I know that the speeches and things are going to are gonna be tough to, to listen to but it's beautiful because no one if you would have said to me five years ago that we would be that we'd be here her pregnant with her daughter and her son and getting married I would have I would have hugged you because I would have not believed you. Um, I think that this is. Um, <clears throat> I feel like it's worse because not worse like that. I mean, like I, I'm more emotional about this whole situation because I'm in the hormone um, drop or rise. I don't know what the terminologies I don't know what the hormones do to make me go like this but um oh golly gosh honestly I I, I just I want to shake myself because it's such a great time and you know I'm so happy my life is so good and I've got no reason none not that there should not that there should be a reason but do you know when there's people that have real real stuff going on in their life and it's like stop holding on to stuff that I don't know I don't know I don't know what I'm going to film today because um, I'm still like I don't know I just find it really hard um, to pick up the camera um, I need this to stop though I need I need to be okay for Friday I need to I don't want I don't want this to be the the situation right on a lighter note I did my tan <laughs> I don't know if it's coming if it's coming up all right on um I've already got um put a light face on no I didn't put any foundation on I just put a little bit of concealer and whatnot just to because I'm tired I'm really tired oh I'm I am fine I am fine. I, I just, I, I, whenever I second guess myself about even putting the camera on when I'm like this, I always say to myself, imagine, imagine one of you on the other side of this feeling the exact same way and feeling like, why can't I be happy? Why can't I, why do I, why does this happen to me? And I just want you to understand and know that you're not alone. You're not the only one. You might have more stuff going on in your life, which just, you know, isn't we're not in comparison. And a little saying that me and Martin used to like to, to use when it was actually locked down during, you know, them times was that we're all in the same storm, but we're not in the same boat. And and that's the thing. We're not. Everyone has a different support network. We have different things going on in our life different struggles whether it's financially emotionally with family with friends whatever our boat is different what's in your boat is different to what's in my boat but it's the same storm and if you're not in that place and you're thinking wow get a grip girl i totally agree with you and i wish it was i wish it was that easy for me to say get a grip girl um but i'm just lying to myself because i say that and i go yeah get a grip but then 10 minutes later, I'm crying again. Like, I can't, I don't have the power. I don't have the power to control this. It's happening and I just have to just ride it out and hope that tomorrow's a better day. And that's what I thought today was going to be, damn it. But it's not. <laughs> and I probably need to put another layer of tan on today and... I can't do it when I'm this emotional and I'm worse, I think, today than what I am was yesterday. <sighs> oh gosh. Right, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pop all this stuff away that I've just showed for TikTok. And then I'm going to go and get myself a cup of coffee. <sighs> and I'm gonna get something to eat and I'm gonna find something nice to watch. Just for a little bit. And it'll be fine. 
and my grandbabies are not very well so um i think ava's all right at the moment please 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 um but zeke and um indy have got i don't know what's wrong with them but they've got terrible coughs at the moment and um brad kept them well he kept zeke with him yesterday and he had to pick indy up early from school so i think we're just going to have today as like a buffer and then hopefully he's better for tomorrow and i can have him tomorrow right i'm sorry for <laughs> but it's like you're my you're my video diary that's what you are you're my video diary this is like in my mind i'm just saying all of this because i don't it doesn't necessarily mean need to go any further it's just between me and you but i know that i need to help other people by sharing the truth and reality of life because it isn't always cupcakes and rainbows it can't be but i also am very very aware that there's some people that i care about tremendously that are going through going through some real stuff and so i feel very like a very much like a fraud of being allowed to feel this way but then i also know that if i was if someone else was saying that to me i'd say don't be ridiculous your feelings don't take away from that person's trauma you have to we're all allowed to feel but you feel like a selfish what's it saying that don't you I do anyway. I'm very hard on myself and I overthink every single thing that I say, especially when I edit it. I think, oh, I shouldn't have said that. Or shouldn't. But that's just who I am. And if you guys can relate and like me anyway, I hate saying that as well because I feel like a beggar. Like, mm, I'm so needy. I think I really am. I think I really am really needy. I think I need acceptance in my life. I think that's what half the problem is, is that I just don't this will continue and continue unless i just stop and go and get myself a coffee and get a grip right i will um check in with you i hope at some point today hello mimi hello, how are you how are you how are you are you excited for the wedding yeah is it auntie lolly's wedding no no whose wedding is it uh, wedding. it's gaga's wedding yeah who's gaga marrying Dennis. Nana? Yeah. Oh, are you going to dance? Yeah. Yeah? Show me your dance moves. Stand up and show me your dance moves. No, I can't. No, no you don't want to? Okay. She doesn't want to dance. I'm going to wrap up this weekly vlog. I apologise for the whole, you know. But it's been a, <laughs> it's been a week, so... Ama amazing. So I'm going to wrap it up here and the next video well actually you're gonna see this on Passionate monday so lauren and reese would have already been married um so stay tuned for some wedding vlogs to follow i hope everyone's okay thank you for watching lots and lots of love god bless the best <laughs> there you go